Hi everyone, welcome to this week's episode of Becky's Cupboard Cocktails. Uh, I'm in a different location this week, as you can see, and that's because I am currently <gasps> puppy sitting! <laughs> uh, so if you hear a bit of background noise today, that's who it is. Uh, so we've got three cocktails coming up for you today. Uh, we're in South Africa this week, so they've all got a little bit of a South African twist. Um, so we've got the Amalekalicious, which is a mouthful to say, uh, so I imagine it's a mouthful to drink. Uh, we've got the Peach Tea Punch and we've got the Amarula Martini. Um, so yeah, let's get started. <laughs> Okay, so for our first cocktail, we're going to be making the peach tea punch. Now it says in the recipe to use a tea called rooibos or rubios, something like that. It's um, a South African tea. Well, I don't have any of that here in Wigan. Um, so I am using Tetley's tea for this recipe. So all you need to do is brew up a tea bag, um, probably about half a cup uh, of water, and then let it cool. Once it's cool, we're going to add in some peach juice. Now. For another recipe today, I need peach slices, so I'm using the juice from this. So just pull that in. So give that a stir. Okay. Then it says to add it into a shaker. So like I said, I've got my little professional shaker. But if you don't have one of these, put it in a protein shaker or you could even put it in a um, just any bottle that's got a screw lid on it. So I should pour it into that. Okay, so the next thing it says to add is to add vodka. So here I've got my vodka. So probably just, I don't know, one serving of vodka. I haven't got my measuring things today because I'm at my brother's, so I'm doing it all by hand, so it might be very strong, it might be very weak, who knows? And then it says to add in a lemon. So I'm assuming that means some sliced lemons. It doesn't say to juice it or anything like that. It just says add in the lemons, uh, the lemon, sorry. So I'm just going to put a couple of slices in and hopefully that will give it some flavour. You have lemon in tea anyway, don't you? People drink that all the time. And then it says two peaches, uh, two slices of peach. Okay. Okay, so we've got in the um, tea peach juice, vodka, lemon slices, and some slices of peach. Now we're gonna put the lid on properly and give it a shake. Ooh, not like that. Give it a shake. Okay, once it's shaken, Sorry, that was just Vinny sneezing in the background. Um, that's it, you just stream it to pour it, it says. So I guess you could do that through a sieve. Okay, so I have strained it again and I've also added a little bit more peach syrup um, and a little bit more water. And there we have the peach tea punch. Um, so now it's time for the taste test. It actually tastes like, do you know the, do you remember the um, iced tea? Well, I think you can still get it actually, but the iced tea you used to get in like little cans. It tastes like that, but with a little bit of vodka. Um, but yeah, there we have the peach tea punch. Okay, so on to our second cocktail, which is called the Amalekalicious. So, I'm not sure why it's called that, and I don't know where it gets its name from. But here goes, I'm gonna make it anyway. So it says you need brandy. So I've got just got this from the cupboard, Napoleon brandy. So it says some of that. That much. 
And then this also needs peach, ju peach juice. Well, this says peach syrup actually, but I don't have peach syrup. So again, I'm just gonna get some juice out of this. Now this one says to add cranberry juice, um, but I don't have cranberry juice. So instead, I'm gonna go off for a little bit of a tangent and I'm going to put pineapple juice. Okay. And then I'm also gonna add, to give it the berry flavor, I'm gonna add some jam. So I'm gonna put it all into my shaker and then I'm gonna add into it a spoonful of jam. A big spoonful of jam. And then it also says to add some lemon juice. So we'll just add a few drops of lemon juice. And then we'll put the lid on and give it a good shake. Okay, so then we're gonna strain that into a glass, a smaller glass for this one. Look at that. Now I think it should settle, you know, like when you pull a pint. And yeah, it's doing it, you can see it settling. Fancy. Um, so yeah, possibly I would have put more in because you don't get much out of that. So I'd probably have done bigger um, portions. But let's try it anyway. Let's give it a taste test. That's actually nice. I don't think I was a big fan of brandy, but that tastes really nice, actually. You can taste the pineapple. I don't know what it would have been like with cranberry, whether it would have been a different consistency or what. But yeah, quite pleased with that. And that is the Amalekalicious with a Becky twist. So for our third and final cocktail of the day, I thought it was called the Amarula Martini, but it's actually called the Brandy Alexander. Don't know how I quite got those mixed up, but anyway. Um, so you're gonna need Amarula. Now this is a South African cream liqueur, and this is something that I got when I was last there. Um, but I guess instead you could use um, Bailey's? maybe it's kind of this has got like a caramelly taste um, but I think you could use Bailey's instead so I'm gonna go ahead and try to make it with Bailey's because I feel like more people are gonna have this in the cupboard than this but if you do have this in your cupboard by the off chance um, yeah make it with that so it says to add Bailey's well this is actually Ballycastle which is the Aldi version of Bailey's, but it's the same thing. Um, so you need some of that. Now this is meant to be served as, um, not a shot, but like a short. So there shouldn't be much of this. Then it says you need brandy. Love the brandy today, don't they? So we're gonna add brandy in. Might as well. There we go. And then it says to add um, double cream, but I don't have any double cream. I instead have single cream. So we're gonna add some of that. And it says to serve over ice. But I haven't got any ice either. There's not a lot that I've got today, I have to be honest. This really is a um, couple of cocktails, isn't it? <laughs> and then it says to finish it off ground nutmeg so you're meant to sprinkle a little bit of ground nutmeg over the top in my head before I drink this I'm expecting it to taste like um, you know the egg custard tarts you get oh a little bit too much went in that that's because I was chatting at the same time to you but that is what it looks like. 
So I guess better try it. It burns the back of your throat, but it's nice at the same time. So like when it first goes in your mouth, it's nice. Because it's creamy, but then when it hits, when it hits the back of your throat, it's intense. So here are our three cocktails of the day. We've got the Brandy Alexander, we've got the Amalekalicious, and we've got the Peach Iced Tea Punch. Um, personally, I think my favourite of today is the Amalekalicious. Um, but yeah, have a go. Let us know what you think um, and send us a picture in the comments.